You've no doubt heard a lot about critical race theory or CRT lately. It's become a hotly debated issue. But what exactly is it? News 8's Shannon Handy gives us a closer look and explains why it's so controversial in this Verify report. You've probably heard the term critical race theory either on the news or social media. Some states are trying to ban it and there's often disagreement about what it is. So we wanted to dig deeper by looking at the history and hearing from both sides. For this story, our expert is Dr. Andrew Jolivet, author and chair of the Ethnic Studies Department at UC San Diego. We asked Jolivet, what is critical race theory? It's a concept that uh, academic scholars have used to try to understand the structure of racism, so how racism actually functions um, in society. CRT is based on the premise that racism is socially constructed and that laws designed to protect against racism sometimes maintain it instead. For example, when legalized slavery ended, discrimination against black people legally continued through Jim Crow racial segregation laws. Why is that? The theory also looks at housing discrimination like single family zoning that prevents building affordable housing in certain advantaged neighborhoods, therefore halting desegregation efforts, as well as discrimination in the workplace, like not wanting to interview someone simply based on their name. They actually did have done studies, which actually show that people who have names that appear to be African American um, or other names, um, not just African American, right, that um, those folks were not called back for interviews for jobs, things that are embedded in the law, but what are also the social ways in which things are embedded into um, policy, behavior, or even practice that might continue to discriminate against people. Jolie Vett says critical race theory originated in the mid 70s in the writings of several American legal scholars in response to what they viewed as a lack of racial progress. Early theorists um, who were studying issues of race and racism were actually trying to understand how did something like Brown versus Board of Education, for example, happened that was supposed to address inequality, yet we saw inequality persist after that. Is critical race theory controversial? Very. We reached out to both supporters and opponents. Frank Shu is president of Californians for Equal Rights Foundation. The group is against allowing schools to teach critical race theory. The idea they're teaching is to examine everything through the lens of race, and that is very worrisome. Xu, a Chinese immigrant, says while he acknowledges racial disparities, he believes CRT is a political theory that will divide people, not unite, especially in schools. So one consequence is for the students who don't agree with this ideology, they, are, they will be afraid to speak up because based on this ideology, they don't agree, okay, you guys are racist. Californians for Equal Rights Foundation is among six organizations that recently teamed up to file a civil rights complaint against San Diego Unified, claiming they're providing teachers with critical race theory training that's discriminatory and uses terms like whiteness, white privilege, and anti-racism. In a statement, a district spokesperson tells News 8, critical race theory is not being taught at San Diego Unified. Regarding the civil rights complaint, San Diego Unified has no comment. Meanwhile, supporters of critical race theory argue it's needed now more than ever. Enrique Morones is executive director of Gente Unida. There's good and bad. There's good and bad, but it's important for people to know it because if you don't know your history, you're bound to repeat it. Morones says CRT will help create a more tolerant society. We want people to know. We want people to know the truth so they can understand why people are in certain situations, why people are vocal about injustices. Finally, is California among the states wanting to ban critical race theory? No. According to Education Week, as of June 18th, 25 states have introduced bills or taken other steps that will restrict teaching critical race theory or limit how teachers can discuss racism and sexism. Eight states have enacted these bans, either through legislation or other avenues. If there is an issue or topic you'd like us to verify, just email us at verify at kfmb.com.